Want to know why? Ask how. Howard the Humongous. The coronavirus is pulling a fast one on us. Rates of infections, deaths, and hospitalizations have dropped tremendously over the last five weeks. But that's just a ruse. On the dark side, we are up to almost half a million deaths, almost 10 times as many deaths as the common flu, almost 200,000 more deaths than American combat deaths in World War II. But the new numbers have gone down staggeringly in the past five weeks. On January 8th, two days after the Capitol Hill insurrection, the number of new cases in a single day hit 314,972, almost a third of a million in only 24 hours. On February 17th, on the other hand, the total of new cases was down to 70,185. That's almost a fifth of the January 8th figure. Yes, a mere fifth. In other words, something has happened in the last five weeks that has lowered the rate of new COVID cases to a sliver of what it was. What major change has occurred in the last five weeks to cause such a dramatic drop? First, we may be past the spikes produced by the Christmas and New Year's celebrations when people huddled maskless, drank eggnog and liquor, and sang, talked, and sprayed droplets into each other's faces. Second, drug testing may have decreased because a third of the country was locked in ice and snow and couldn't get to a testing site. But there's another possible explanation for the dramatic drop in COVID cases over a mere five weeks. The inauguration of Joe Biden on January 20th. Joe Biden, who wears a mask and believes in social distancing. Experts like the physicians at Yale Medicine believe that mask wearing is the single most effective measure we can take to stop the spread of the virus. Has Joe Biden dramatically lowered the rate of coronavirus transmission? We shall have to see. Some states are responding to the let-up in COVID cases by opening restaurants and gyms. USA Today reports that three state legislatures lifted mask mandates in recent days and New York and Massachusetts eased restrictions on restaurant seating in time for Valentine's Day. The experts feel this is a huge mistake. As Dr. Luciano Borio, former acting chief scientist of the Food and Drug Administration says, we are done with the virus, but the virus is not done with us. COVID experts like Harvard's Atul Gawande say that we are in for a savage spring and summer. We are in for what professionals like Northeastern University disease forecaster Samuel Scarpino calls a fourth wave. Why? Seven new virus variants are taking off around the country. Seven new mutations, including mutations from England, South Africa, Brazil, and even Southern California. The variants from England and South Africa evade your defenses more effectively, infect you more skillfully, and kill you more certainly than the original Wuhan version of the virus. Those variants are just getting started in the United States. Fortunately, the two vaccines we have, the Pfizer-BioNTech and the Moderna, are effective in shielding you against these mutations. For now, Experts like U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention head Dr. Rochelle Walensky are afraid that if the new variants can find enough bodies to breed in, the new mutants will invent ways to evade and overcome our vaccines and will become dominant by March 31st. In other words, the experts are afraid the new mutations will become invincible, that they will become vaccine-proof. So our task is to vaccinate as many Americans as possible between now and the end of March. Why? Our bodies are research and development labs for the virus. Our bodies are places where the coronavirus can multiply by the trillions and invent new tricks, which means that every body we immunize against the virus takes another research and development lab out of the virus's reach. How are we doing with immunization so far? Very good but not good enough. We are injecting the vaccine into roughly 2 million people a day. 
We have put a total of 57 million vaccines into arms, but that is not enough to outrace the mutants. And the winter storms that have frozen even Texas are slowing the vaccination campaign down. The bottom line is that we have to immunize as many Americans as possible between now and the end of March, when the experts anticipate another savage, deadly spike, the one the experts call the fourth wave, to stop that COVID tsunami. Wear your mask, wash your hands, social distance, and if you can, get vaccinated. This is Howard Demongus speaking to you from the future. It's your job and my job to make. Or, <laughs> want to know why? Ah, oh, ask how, which means, how in the world do I reach this slimy, sleazy, insidious, sibilant, little, syncophatic off button?